Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to How I Accidentally Became Allergic to MSG and Now Easily Keep My Weight Off. I accidentally created a diet that not only drops weight, but also keeps it off. You can follow the links to find the diet, diet nutritional plan here all over your screen. I base my diet off of about 14 nutritionist textbooks. It is a very simple diet, just avoid food high in fat, cholesterol, and salt. And I go out of my way to show you the exact foods that you should eat that fit these guidelines. Well, in doing so, I cut out a food additive accidentally called MSG. By doing this, I now can't eat anything unhealthy, for the most part. Hence, nearly permanent weight loss. Monosodium glutamate is a salt that is not used to preserve food, but instead to flavor it inexpensively. What it does is it fools your taste buds into thinking that the food you are eating is healthy and rich in protein, when it probably is not. Protein-rich foods are expensive, so how does a fast food company give you the protein your body desires for a buck? They load it up with MSG that fools your body. Another benefit for fast food companies is that MSG acts as an anti-appetite suppressant that drops your blood sugar levels so you feel hungry when you aren't later. MSG allows food companies to sell you extremely cheap food stuff that stimulates your hunger by adding a cheap additive. That is the pure reason why MSG is in food. So what does MSG do to you? Gives you high blood pressure? Migraines are considered to be very closely related to MSG consumption. Gallbladder attacks, inability to process certain fats in the body, lower blood sugar levels, hypothyroidism, onset of diabetes, and numerous other absolutely horrendous things. Remember, this was an accident, but I'm generally happy that it happened. I noticed that certain foods gave me stomach cramps about two and a half months into my diet. The first thing that made me sick was actually salad from a salad bar. I didn't know what was happening or why, but I received stomach cramps that lasted about three hours. They weren't terrible, but they weren't fun either. MSG is found in countless numbers of products. I'll go over just the most common ones here. Food from McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, Applebee's, etc. In general, fast food. Pretty much every fast food place. Try to eat from neighborhood restaurants. Whole Hands and Johnny Carino so far have passed the test along with numerous mom and pop restaurants. Here's some other foods that almost always contain MSG. Ranch dressing, sausage, gravy, snack chips, parmesan cheese, deli meat, soy sauce, bullion cues, powdered soup mixes, vegetable dips, NutraSweet, hot dogs, croutons, mushroom soup, hamburger helper, cup of noodles, ramen noodles, gelatin. If you see any of these words in nutrition labels, you know that there is MSG in the product. MSG, obviously. Glutamate hydrolyzed, casinate, glutamic acid, textured protein, yeast nutrient, autolyzed yeast, vetsinon, or aginomoto. You can see here that if I'm forced to avoid every item on this list, it is quite easy for me to keep my overall weight off. And really, when you think about it, what are you giving up? For the most part, chips, powdered food stuff, and fast food. Don't worry, you'll be very happy you did. Accidentally, I decreased the stomach cramps by taking two ibuprofens. This works pretty well as an antidote to MSG sickness. MSG is known as glutamate and it just so happens that ibuprofen is a glutamate blocker. The best results I received came from drinking a can of Red Bull, oddly enough, because I later read Red Bull contains a large amount of taurine and vitamin B6 which fight the negative effects of MSG. MSG also can trigger migraine headaches. Here are some other things others have found to help as antidotes to MSG poisoning. Magnesium, taurine, which is in Red Bull, but also in pill form, and Benadryl. You don't need any of these things if you just avoid MSG altogether, though. Thank you for watching my tutorial, and you should most definitely check out the Diet Nutritional Plan. It is 100% free, and there are no vitamins, supplements, or anything needed. Till next time.